Greetings, friends of the Chooch. How you doing? Welcome to another episode of Chooch Rides here at RPM Cycle in Dallas, Texas, bringing you Honda Triumph, Moto Guzzi, Aprilia, and Motus. This has to be the nicest bike, at least the most expensive, that I have ever had the pleasure and privilege to ride. Look at this thing. This is the 2018 Honda Goldwing DCT Touring, fully loaded, airbag model. This thing has an airbag built in. Let me show you that really quick because I'm really excited about it. Look at that. Airbag. So if you actually hit something, God forbid, there's an airbag that basically blows up this entire area and saves you from going through that windscreen over the bike and all this other fun stuff. I am so happy to see this being adopted in bikes. I know it's really expensive. You'll see the MSRP here in a moment, but worth every penny in my opinion to have those safety features. I'm very, very happy to see that. I am going to get an overview of this bike. We're going to get an ergonomic assessment. I am going to get this on the road. This thing, just to mention, has a reverse gear and a walking mode. DCT transmission. Man, this, this, this is the pinnacle of luxury touring. So, without further ado, let's get a walk around. So the first thing that catches my eye are these jewel LED headlights, just like on the Honda cars. They are gorgeous. This all lights up down here. It's going to be a little hard to see in the daytime, but that's there. It's beautiful. The other thing that catches my eye is the engine. This is an 1833cc six-cylinder engine, also the biggest engine on any bike I've ever ridden. So you have that. It's got the ABS, it's got the traction control, it's got all the safety features. There's going to be too much to list in this video. We could be here all day, so I'm going going to link in the description to Honda's website so you can check out the features on this motorcycle. There is so much to this. So I'm going to try to really focus just on the ride, the exhaust, the ergonomics, what I usually do. So, you know, we can keep this video a little shorter, but just look at this thing. This looks comfortable just looking at it. Like, I'm comfortable just sitting here staring at it. The lines are gorgeous. That windscreen is electronically adjustable. There are, again, so many features on this thing. You have the full luggage set up here. I hear the, the helmet can fit in this trunk in the back. It's got a parking brake. Check this thing out. That's a parking brake. So you basically lift this up so that it doesn't roll on you. How awesome is that? Center stand. Very happy to see that. Heated seats, man. Like I said, this thing is loaded. Heated seats, heated grips. This has Apple CarPlay. And you're going to see that once I get this thing on. Full keyless ignition. You know, it, it, again, a ton of buttons. Everything feels solid. It's a joystick. That is a joystick. Awesome. It just, everything just feels solid and quality on this machine. I, I can't wait. I cannot wait. The brakes are adjustable. Let's get that in a little bit more because I like them a little closer. Perfect. And uh, yeah, there's no clutch. This is a full automatic uh, transmission, but you also have the option of shifting manually. You have downshift is the thumb, upshift is your finger. So if you want to shift manually, you can. Just like the 700X DCT that I rode, but from what I hear, this is so much nicer of a machine. Uh, I don't know what that is. Let's not find out because we could be here all day. And again, look at this thing. I cannot wait. Let's get the ergonomic assessment and uh, get the exhaust clip and get this thing out on the road. Oh my God, this is going to be awesome. All right, welcome to the ergonomic assessment of this 2018 Goldwing. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this looks extremely intimidating to get on. I mean, it looks so heavy. It actually looks smaller than the last wing, which is cool. And it definitely looks a lot more modern than the last wing, but it looks heavy. So I am a little nervous. I'm going to be very careful getting on this thing for the first time. Wow, that steering is actually kind of badass down there. It's a different type of steering that I've ever seen before. It's not a fork. You should check out my Instagram. I got pictures of that. So let's get on this thing and see what it's like. Oh, what? Get out. Really? All right, well, it's it's heavy, but it's not that heavy. I, I expected it to be a lot heavier, but yeah, she is bulky. Don't get me wrong. She feels heavy, but it's got a very nice balance to it. That seat is, oh, oh. yeah. You know, they, they call these things couches on wheels, and I can see why. The ergos, just sitting here, is just comfortable. Stupidly comfortable. Let's get the foot up and show you that. Oh, yeah. You know what? I understand why people buy these. This is the most comfortable machine, just sitting on it, that I've ever been on. And you can take this. Just 
go. Just just go. Forever. You can literally cross the entire country on one of these. And it's just oh, it's just plush and supple and and just wow, I cannot wait to get this thing out on the road. Let's get that exhaust clip for you. Uh, let's get uh, an overview really quick of the, the controls, which again are numerous. I'm not going to have time to go through all of them, but I will go through some because there are some interesting features on this thing and get this thing out for a ride. Stay tuned. So one thing I do want to mention before we start this thing up, again, <laughs> keyless. That is awesome. I love keyless bikes. So starting this thing is actually really simple. You have this ignition button here. So you just turn it to on. We got the nice little gauge sweep. And just press this. Just once. And it starts. You have a little stand warning there. The notice, this has a GPS and all that fun stuff. This has Apple CarPlay. How cool is that? We're not going to get into that. It's not touchscreen. I don't know why I just did the touchscreen. But yeah, phone pairing, we're not going to get into that. Let's just get into vehicle settings really quick. And yeah, there's a whole, there's a ton of stuff here. I'm, I'm not going to have time to go through all of it. Uh, so we're just going to leave that alone for now. Let's get that exhaust clip. It's, it's kind of hard to reach. Let me, let me get around the other side. Where, yeah, that's back there. Right, here we go. It sounds like a car, doesn't it? I gotta hear. I gotta hear what it sounds like from behind. But it sounded like a car to me. All right, let's get this thing out on the road. Oh, they did my tires already. That was quick. All right, good stuff. All right, here we are back on the wing. <laughs> the wing. It's wow. There is no real feedback in the seat at all. There's just the tiny, tiny, tiny bit in the bars. So before we get this thing out on the road, obviously there's a there's a ton of stuff to this. There's no way I'm going to be able to go through everything. It's got a full audio system, phone pairing. Again, Apple CarPlay, which is freaking ridiculous on a bike. We're not going to pair my phone um, because, yeah, we'll be here again all day. Just electronic windscreens, little deflectors. Just the, the, the tension to detail is just overwhelming on this thing. But there is something I want to show you. Obviously, I can't do a clutch assessment, but there's a button down here called walking mode. So you hold the brake, you press this button, and now it's, you know, if you see that on the dash, it says, do you want to go forward and reverse? So if you shift up, walking mode into forward. And that's it. That's as fast as it goes. And then you hold the brake and you let go. You hold the rear, well, uh, basically reverse. <laughs> it's, it's, it's moving front and back. And you let it go and you're back in a neutral. It's it's all very intuitive. There's no real way that you can't at least get this bike moving. As long as you know about that button down here to do the walking mode, which is awesome. So again, that, that's basically friction zone if you want to use the, the clutch, which you don't have to. Obviously, there's no clutch on this thing. But let's get this out on the road because I really, really want to feel this. So you hold the brake and drive. Now you're in first. And here we go. Let go of the brake. Okay, letting go of the brake in first in drive does not go anywhere. You actually have to give it a little throttle, and here it goes. Wow, this thing is huge. Oh, this is the smoothest bike I have ever been on. Oh my god. I, 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 I'm going for the clutch. There's no clutch. Just, just brake. Just brake. There we go. Oh, yep. Yeah, brakes need a little pressure, but once you get them down, this thing stops. I'm in third, I'm in fourth. It's, it's so weird. It's, it's like a scooter, but it's a big, comfy, fast scooter. It's not really a scooter. I think this is way too big to be a scooter. Uh, signals, they are in a good, intuitive spot. This, <laughs> this is so awesome. The mirrors are in a great spot. I didn't even have to adjust them, but they are adjustable by hand. But they're, they're just, they were basically set for me when I got on this bike, so that's cool. Really smooth engagement of the auto clutch. Really easy takeoff. Oh, this is, this is a dream. This is like riding a cloud. Ow. 
I don't foresee any issues with these tracks, but let's see how this feels. Oh, okay. That was actually a little bouncy. I didn't I did not expect that. I mean, it was it was controlled, but it, it jolted me a little bit. So you feel the transmission shifting. It's a little unnerving if you're not used to it. Oh, that was an easy turn. This thing feels lighter than it has any right to. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did not expect that either. It wants to it wants to negotiate a turn with minimal effort. The whole thing about this bike so far is being minimal effort. That's it's amazing. Let's get on a little. Okay. It's not a snatchy throttle at all. It's not a pick up and shoot you forward type feel. It's just a powerful, I'm going to move you forward with authority feel. So this this is not sporty. I would not classify this as sporty. The ride is honestly, it's it's. I'm feeling every like bump and curve of the road. It's a little choppy. But right now I'm in tour mode. There's there's other modes to this thing too. There's there's rain and sport. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna try the other sport mode because I want to feel if that throttle feels any different in sport. But yeah, the oh it wants it actually okay it's tuned for fuel economy you could tell because when i twisted that throttle it wanted to lurch forward oh my god okay hello oh crap good brakes good brakes too holy hell that was insane okay tour mode the beginning part of the throttle pull is very smooth very compliant tuned for just just comfort but if you twist that throttle holy crap does this thing take off wow that was impressive <laughs> oh i like i like it let's get an idea for flickability wow okay yeah it's big but the side to side transition is actually very controllable it feels big don't get me wrong this is not a flickable sport bike type feel but you want to transition it will lean over no problem again really impressive let's put it in sport mode okay there goes <laughs> wow all the mushiness in that throttle is gone yep that throttle instantly snapped up into a hell of a lot more responsive. Wow! Yeah, it's, you can tell it's, it's holding the gears a little longer, just just like a sport mode in a car would. And yeah, just just a small twist twist of that throttle, and this thing will take off. Holy crap! I'm gonna live in a sport for the rest of this ride. You know what? I'll leave it in sport, but I also want to try manual. So let's put it in manual. So right now I'm in manual mode. Drive and one. Okay. So let's 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 feel how this actually shifts when you want to shift it yourself. Oh yeah, that's sport mode. Hello. Okay. I need to make a note of that. Instant shifts! Just like a DCT on a car. This thing is ridiculously smooth and responsive. I will say taking off what you saw there. The throttle was a very snatchy in, in sport mode, keeping it in one. It actually is kind of snatchy trying to keep it at a low RPM now. So let's downshift, see how that feels. No problem, rev match downshifts, very smooth. But I have to say, in manual sport mode, taking off from a stop and just, holy crap! <laughs> yeah! Oh, this is amazing! Very snatchy, <laughs> low speed, that's what I want to try. It's hard to speak when, when you're riding something this much fun. Very snatchy, low speed in sport. I'm going to try that again, see if it was maybe I just stayed in first too long, which could be a very simple noob mistake. Yeah, it, ta it takes a little finesse. It does take a little finesse in sport, but that the twist of that throttle, it, it is pure sport. I'm actually 
economy and i don't really care about economy i'm gonna leave it back in tour because when when i ride this thing i yeah it can be sporty but that's not the intent i don't think so i'm gonna leave it in tour and just tour is just it's just wonderful the throttle actually gets a little bit more responsive as you go i wonder if it's just learning it is it is brand new tracks yeah, again, a little bouncy on those tracks. I'm going to say a little bouncy. I expected a more Cadillac-like ride, which you're not getting out of this thing. And I'm going to say that might not be a bad thing because of the, the heft of this bike and the way it handles. That suspension is a little tight, and you know what? That's not a bad thing. I didn't know what to expect getting on this bike to start with. I, I kind of expected a Cadillac-like plush, numb ride, but that's not what you get. This is very responsive. And, and almost sporty in a sense that you can feel what the suspension's doing. You're not completely disconnected from the road like you would expect on something that would be considered a luxury tourer. So props to Honda, they didn't completely mush this thing out and kill all engagement. I could see somebody, I mean, I know this is geared toward say older or seasoned or highly uh, touring focused riders, but I can see anybody getting on this thing and having an absolute blast, especially with that DCT, as amazing as that is. Man, I'm really digging this thing. Yeah, Tour is definitely a lot smoother when you're coming down to it. Especially on a turn, if you want to do like a low speed turn, Tour is a little bit smoother on that throttle. Let's feel that windshield, get that up. Bubble of quiet air. The, problem, the only thing I don't like about it, obviously, is I'm, I'm looking through it, but it went dead silent. Like, it, it's eerily quiet. All you hear is the engine running. I don't hear anyone noise at all. It's, it's kind of weird. I'm going to put that back down. At least get that under my field of view. All right, so I hear a little wind noise there. And, and there's the rest of it. But there's a lot more airflow like that, and it is a hot day, so I'm going to leave that down for now. The wind noise is not intrusive, but it's present. It's not thundering, which is fine. Now let's get in here and do the low speed. I'm gonna put it, I think, in walking mode for that. Let's see how that works. So I'll stop it. Hold the button for walking. Oh, wait, no, neutral first, then walking. So you have to go into neutral, then walking. And I'm gonna hold the forward button. All right, walking mode is literally walking mode. You're not, you're not on the th throttle, but it's not going to do anything for you as far as low speed. It really is just walking. So let's get that back into drive. Which again, you have to go into neutral and then go into drive. So that's good to know. Turn that turn signal off. All right, so let's see how the slow speed maneuverability is in something this massive. This is a lot more stable at low speed than I expected. Holy crap. Little rear brake, obviously, to get me a little, little stability. But the friction zone it does. Oh, got to put my foot down. Okay, yeah. Got to be careful if you're full lock putting your foot down. Hi, that's me. I actually, honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make one gripe. At low speed, I would prefer the control of a clutch, trying to do that kind of maneuver with my left hand, than let the computer do it for me. But that's just me saying that I haven't figured out how to use the rear brake properly, 100%, to control the low speed. Because your rear brake is basically your friction zone on your clutch. See how this turn goes? Comfortable, again, a little bouncy. That, my only gripe on this thing is the suspension is a little bouncy. It's also brand new, so it could be breaking in. Uh, but I am, I'm just very picky when it comes to things like that. Having ridden the CB500X last week and how smooth that thing was, it's also this thing also is enormous. So you're gonna feel a little bit more. And these roads are absolutely terrible. I just feel that other bikes, lighter bikes, can negotiate these roads a little bit better. But on a super slab, on a smooth highway, you're not getting more comfortable than this. You're really not. This, even the backrest on this seat, it's not a full backrest, it's just like a butt cup, I guess. It's just so damn comfortable. So the question you have to ask, does it chooch? Yes, absolutely. This does chooch. 
I would ride one of these. I would probably pick up one of these when I get a little older and a little calmer. Although, you don't really have to be a little calmer. This thing has the power for you. But I'm not ready for anything like this right now. I'm going to stick to my adventure touring and something else coming soon. So that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Chat with me on Discord. And check out RPM Cycle at www.rpmcycletx.com. Take it easy.